in those first four to five days of the Romance Tour, gentlemen, you will meet probably a couple of people that you feel a great deal of compatibility with, and it seems to be mutual. And I can't explain how it works, but I guarantee you there will be one with whom you feel all of that more than any other, and that's probably the special person that you came to meet. question came up from somebody who, you know, despite the fact that we've been around for 17 years, had just found us and had gotten to know us, and he asked a little bit about romance tours, what they were about, what exactly a romance tour consisted of. It's interesting how you can take something like that completely for granted when you've been doing romance tours for 17 years, but the reality is there are a lot of guys that are out there that are confused about what exactly happens on a romance tour versus any other kind of tour or tour package that you hear about on the internet. In a nutshell, people meet. I mean, it's as simple as that. In a nutshell, wonderful people find each other. We get guys in a group to meet us at JFK. We get on a plane and we go somewhere. We go to Latin America, we go to China, we go to the Philippines, we go to Eastern Europe. We have a destination city in mind, obviously, like Kiev, Ukraine. We go to Kiev as a group, we land in Kiev. Wherever we're going, we meet the staff right away. We get acquainted with our surroundings. We do a little bit of a walking tour, a guided tour. We learn a little bit about the city, the history, the culture. And again, we meet the staff. Uh, we have an informal social where you meet just the interpreters and the people who are going to be catering to pretty much your every need for the next 10 to 12 days. And uh, then we begin our social process. And the social process is really exciting. It's the highlight of every tour. What is a social? A social is a meeting that takes place, a dinner meeting, if you will. Uh, and you know, it's not a full-blown formal dinner, it's, it's quite informal actually, but, but three or four hours of champagne and light dining and dancing and mingling. And we usually have 200 plus women in the room with about 25 to 30 guys and everybody just mingles and finds each other. And of course, there are a whole lot more women there than there are guys. That's simply because we have a whole lot more women in the participating countries that we travel to, then we have guys that are getting on the plane and going there. And we want to include as many women as possible in our social process. It's fun, it's stimulating, it keeps them engaged, and it gives them the promise of ultimately meeting somebody when they come to the socials and they see people in fact getting introduced and meeting each other. If you look at some of the video content that we've got going on here, these are people at socials who have just met. You can see the dynamic, how easily it is for them to get to know each other, how comfortable they are, the body language which is so accepting, you know, the, the screening in process versus the screening out, if you will. These are people who just met and I love watching them interact with each other, how comfortable they just seem to be with each other from the very beginning of their meeting. So we also have our one-on-one -on -one introductions which are a part of every romance tour in addition to the social process. You can take your list of profile numbers, if you will, of women that you'd like to be introduced to individually in our office setting and we'll call the women up, we'll arrange dates, the women will come down to meet you, the two of you will go off to a cafe somewhere, have a cup of coffee or a glass of wine and get to know each other. And of course there will be a number of guys on every tour who have been writing to women and hoping to meet the women that they've been corresponding with and there'll be some of that going on as part of every tour as well. But there's a whole lot of mingling and meeting and introductions that occur. Of course, what is the end result of all that meeting and mingling and introductions? Well, people court, people go out on dates, People have an amazing time together. People find a lot of compatibility and common ground and wonderful things happen. So you'll go out on a first or second date with somebody and it may or may not work out and you'll have another first or second date and another. But in, in those first four to five days of the romance tour, gentlemen, you will meet probably a couple of people that you feel a great deal of compatibility with and it seems to be mutual. And I can't explain how it works, but I guarantee you there will be one with whom you feel all of that more than any other and that's probably the special person that you came to meet. The two of you will go off together, have your extended dates, your extended time together, and who knows? You know, extended dates lead to a little bit of friendly cuddling. Cuddling might lead to a first kiss. A first kiss might lead to a lot of surrender, a lot of conversation, a lot of talk. By the way, 
You'll also experience great camaraderie with the guys. You'll make friends. You'll have double dates. Couples will make friends with other couples where the women are all from the same city. Guys come back to the States and they have their own support group. They're constantly in touch with each other, supporting each other and moving each other forward in the experience. And ultimately, when their women come to the States on future fiance visas, they have each other. They have other couples that, that they can network with right away. It's an amazing event just from, from the whole camaraderie and relationship building aspect. So again, more than anything else, guys, we just take everyday people, we remove the geographical barriers, we put them in front of each other, and we allow good things to happen. And when you watch this film footage, it's so awesome just to see very good people who are in the process for the absolute right reasons, who have great character, they're family focused, marriage focused, they want to meet somebody and fall in love and have that great love story unfold for them. It's great to put those people in front of each other in the social process and the introduction process and the courtship process and just coach and nurture and support the heck out of them so that they go on successfully. Perhaps you should consider expanding your horizons. Want to learn more? Check out our website, foreignlovemates.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.